and we are trained as well. Um, I stumbled on agriculture in college, and what I learned scared me about our food system. And I knew at that point, if I was going to eat, I probably had to go. So we are a grass-based, humane farm. And in that, and you can see around us, um, our idea is diversity everywhere. It's just uh, something that we feel compelled to do and privileged to do, to be able to grow food, clean food, not only for ourselves, but for a small number of people who understand the importance of quality, clean food. Who know enough to eat the very best. It, it's a big one, you know, sustainable agriculture is all about, um, from an environmental standpoint, making sure that what we do today leaves something for the next generation. And it's, it's very troubling to see what's going on in, in mainstream our tax dollar supported agriculture where they're ripping out every single hedgerow and all kinds of trees to put in center pivot irrigation and monocropping. We live close to a farm that, uh, that has grown corn 19 years in a row on the same field now. All of our customers want to know what is it that we do is different than um, the people who raise the meat that they get in their grocery store. And so we tell them, and some of it is, is uh, uh, it's very difficult to hear. But on our farm, there are no pesticides or insecticides being used in our livestock. We um, don't automatically feed them antibiotics because when they eat all of this wonderful grass, um, they're not going to get sick. It is With beef, for example, our beef takes somewhere between 18 and 24, 25, 26 months to finish because they're finishing on grass and forage, which is really natural for them. Uh, in the supermarket, you're getting beef that yeah, spent maybe its first five or six months on grass, but then got shipped off to another state in a feedlot and was crammed full of steroids and antibiotics and uh, grain. Less is more is um, vital and very important for the voice of the small farmer. People have no idea what's going on out there in the factory farms and the chemical pesticide fields. They have no idea that they're ingesting all of this garbage and it's making them sick. We really need the support of an, an organization like Less is More because otherwise people are not going to know. We, Jill and Mary, cannot educate the planet. We're, we don't have the time. We're trying to farm, and that's really very full time. And we do that without any support whatsoever from the government. Mm -hmm. you know, but we've seen so many small farms Go that under. have gone under because we, uh, we nobody subsidizes us.